Welcome to the new signal. <laughs> you're, you're recording, right, Jamie? Oh, yeah. All right, cool. So I guess, uh, Nat, uh, where are we at, bro? So this is the first time we've gotten together in well over a couple months. We haven't had a new episode in a long time. Really apologize for that uh, out there. But uh, yeah, we've been going through some transitions lately. A lot of transitions. Uh, yeah. We lost our re uh, rehearsal studio, which is where we were recording uh, all the other stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. And so tonight, we are in actually a real recording studio. <laughs> Strobe recording. Yeah, yeah. And uh, with uh, we got our, our engineer. Man, we got our man Jamie. Yeah. At the on the on the yeah. on the decks. What's up, Jamie? How's it going? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing? Good, good. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, the this is the bad. this is yeah this is, it's awesome. I like this. This is like uh, you know like in the talk shows where they have like uh, where David Letterman would talk to his producer off the stage. Yeah, I forgot what his name was. Do you remember his name, Mike? Biff? No, Biff. I was his stage manager. Sorry. Uh, no, it was Biff. He's like, oh hey Biff, what's good? <laughs> your Biff Jamie's our Biff Biff tonight. <laughs> we're, <And> we're honored. <laughs> um, you want to you want to just give a quick introduction to your recording studio here? Sure, welcome to Strobe Recording in the Humboldt Park, Illinois. Full production studio, live band recording. How long have you been around? I've uh, been here since 2004, so uh, almost 15 years. Wow. He's, he's seen Humboldt Park go through some changes. Oh, uh, changes for sure. Big time. That's a, that's a long time. Damn. <laughs> so right now, uh, in terms of our setup, we've got, we've got a, we have a beautiful big open room here. Brick walls, uh, hardwood floors, carpet, or I mean uh, rugs. And Gabe and I are in, in, in the main room. I'll take some pictures just and, to uh, post up. Yeah. And Mike's off in his own little, little corner of the world there in the vocal booth. I feel both privileged and banished at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, very happy to be here. Think of yourself like Hawaii. That's all you just put <laughs> out there. Yeah. No, it's, it's all good. This is great. So what are we going to get into tonight in this new space for an evening? So well, I felt like tonight was just about kind of getting comfortable in the studio. I don't have any real big expectations. If uh, if we get a couple of things out of tonight, I'll I'll be happy. You know. What about you, Gabe? Uh, likewise, uh, let's do a couple freestyle. Let's do a couple to a click track. You know, let's just improvise. Let's just have fun. All right. You know. And hopefully, uh, Darren will show up. D sharp. Yeah, D-Sharp D -sharp is not in the building right D-Sharp's not in the building tonight. Some people will definitely be upset to hear that news. <laughs> Some people happy, but probably not many people happy. Most people upset. You know, maybe I will get on guitar right now.
I moved to a new house or a new apartment. What do you think, Mike? You've been over there. It's pretty top notch. It's moving on up. Yeah. To the east side. Shout out to my cousin Nick, whose place I am currently renting. Shout out, Nick. What's You're up, Nick. You, you, you. This is the way we communicate. This yeah. is me and, me and Nick. Like I say something, and hopefully he hears it at one point. Yeah, yeah. This is a test to see if they're actually listening. It's a nice place. I think you've found a, a, a nice, good step for you. And um, yeah, I never really seen a, an apartment like that, but it's pretty cool. My studio setup is pretty sweet now. I got to say, I'm like, it's the best I've ever had right now. It looks better than most. Yeah. I've, I've, it's a really great setup. Had, yeah. uh, had another friend over for lunch today. Had did a little Nat's noodles action in the kitchen kitchen today. Yeah, you got to start filming an episode in there. <laughs> it's like a diner. I'm, I'm I'm like treating it like a diner. You Nat's s- diner. Nat's diner. You sit at the counter, <laughs> order some noodles. Oh, yeah. Here's a, here's a thought. Does anyone have a mood that they feel like uh, getting out right now musically? I'm like. Uh, G- give me give me give, give me something to give me something to chew on. I don't unfortunately. I'm kind of just <laughs> like. <laughs> Let's throw that out there. Come on, man. I'm the I'm the I'm the interviewer. I ask the questions. I don't answer them. I would say speed it speed it up. Uh, let's see, let's do 128. Oh damn, Gabe's want, Gabe wants to get up there. 128. Yeah. Getting too old for this shit, Gabe. What what'd you just say, Gabe? Oh, come on. You're never ne- never too old to rock and roll. 128. That's BPM. like that's, that's like 128 BPM is really slow. Never too old to rock and roll is the oldest thing you've ever said in your life. <laughs> hey, I'm, 40, that, I'm that, 47. <laughs> only an old man would say, never too old to rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole.
Someone's <laughs> always got to get the last word in there on those endings. <laughs> I actually totally forgot we were recording there for a second. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing. thing. I think I, okay. I was like, uh, I'm not sure where I am. I'm just having fun with this. And then I looked up and I was like, oh, I, I think we're paying for this. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I know we are. So. Jamie's like, easiest money I ever made. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. He's like, wait, what? all I got to do is hit record? It? I'm like, yeah, no editing, nothing. It's like, dude, this is awesome. <laughs> And in fact, we should. Uh, now that we're set set up and running, I actually got to go to the washroom. I'm gonna uh, maybe break ski if that's is that permitted? Yeah, yeah, we could <laughs> we could take a break. This is where uh, this is where an advertisement would go if, if we had adver- advertisements, you know. Like, strobe recording. I'll do, uh, uh, strobe, strobe recording, recording for all your recording needs in Chicago, Illinois. And then you got to do it in Spanish. <laughs> you got to do it in Spanish. Uh, put, yeah. Come on, you know how to, you know how to say it in Spanish. Yeah. Venga, venga! Recording. <laughs> really? That's that's that, what that's that, all that, you got? That's all I got right now. <laughs> oh man, putting all your right. people to shame. <laughs> all right, break.
Gabe, what have you been up to for the last two months since we last saw you? Previously on... <laughs> well, uh, busy, man, as usual. Busy? Working for NASA. Still? <laughs> Still. Man, you, you're going like, to use that for like, yeah, the rest of your life. Forever. <laughs> Working for NASA. Yeah, man. I, I could finally put that on my resume, motherfucker. That's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. I mean, I got lucky, man. It's like, I was actually on the phone. Yeah, it's, dead, man. <laughs> it's about space. Spa yeah, like SpaceX, right? <laughs> That's true, man. All the all the buzzes at at SpaceX. Oh, now. dude, they're the shit. SpaceX. SpaceX Space is Wars. <laughs> Do you think about that video of you know the rocket yeah. landing on the when both of them landed? Yeah, that that was sci-fi. That yeah, sci-fi. That is really that was pretty impressive. Think about how many, I don't know, how much thought and energy had to go into figuring out how to do that. It's He's crazy. Got, he, he hired the best, uh, the brightest, man, the, the coolest engineers, you know. It's interesting that it's not NASA anymore. That, that says something. No, no, yeah. Like NASA used to be that, yeah. the, the sort of the cutting edge, yeah. go to the moon, do all this shit. No, not no more. The, uh, the space shuttle program, I think, screwed them a little, like, it they, they, it, it, well, I, I love Elon Musk, dude. That guy, is, he's, he, he thinks the way... You, hey, man, you know what? I'm going to send some shit up. I want to reuse it again. Yeah. I mean, why didn't NASA think of that? You know, I was like, do you trust Elon Musk? Yeah, dude. Do you think he's a good, love, do you think he's a good guy? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if he's personally a good guy, but... Um, but do you think his heart's in the right... Like, he, he's doing I, it I, lo right. I love his cars. I give him the benefit I love of the, the doubt. I love the solar panels that he's doing. I love the... Everything he's doing is, it's all about like that tube, you know, he's doing, I mean. No, but if you found out that he was like a really. Uh, he's not know, though. He's one of the motherfuckers that left Trump at the beginning, dude. He's like, I'm out of here. Well, that, yeah, but he's yeah, also one true. of the motherfuckers who went to Trump. Yeah. That first step. When everybody else was like, fuck you. He was like, yeah, no, I'll yeah. go over there. He so tried. Go both ways. I kind of like him, but I'm just saying. I think he got enough money that he was just like, I, this is what I'm going to do. And you right. just do what you're passionate about. And it's well-intentioned and. You know, n low footprint on the planet, so he's pretty smart. He's trying a lot of cool stuff. He's kind of like, you know, you got money, you're going to do something with it, or you're going to sit on it and try to make more. He's He seems to be trying to do something cool. I'd love to be able to say, hey, when, I, uh, was done, when I'm done with my life, I left the planet, like, interstellar space travel. <laughs> like, you Yeah, know. that's true. That, that's, that's a pretty good... That's a pretty good thing on the resume. That's on the life resume. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah. Mine's like created podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the new signal. Welcome to the new signal, everybody. Yeah. Well, you know, each to what, whatever it is, you know, you, it's you interesting to think do. about that, though. Like what mark you leave, you know, like in the grand scheme of things, I'd like to think I left some good marks, you know, but yeah, in comparison to like, uh, developing interstellar space travel you know my, my on the side i mean yeah. tesla's the big thing too right and he's got all these space tubes and you know and you hear trump trump's like let's do space wars he wants to do he's like why don't we invest in war in space <laughs> he wants to start star wars he wants to <laughs> why don't we just do what they they do in star wars yeah that's exactly because he gets all his information from tv and film because he's definitely not a star trek kind of guy star trek is like you go off and it's just the galaxy of weirdos and every yeah. episode is different. And it's different. all about, it's all idealistic about get, you know, trying to co come together with all the different alien races. Yeah, he would hate that. Yeah, he would yeah. just be like, this is horrible. You're all zeros. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> They're not, wi you're not winning enough. <laughs> yeah. No. Where so in this case, yeah, much better. <sighs> so I was telling uh, Jamie earlier I think the reason the Republicans aren't doing anything and they're just letting shit just go is because because we're all like pissed off, like, what the fuck? Why aren't they doing? Why aren't they stopping him? I think because Trump talks so much fucking shit about him at the, at the when he was campaigning. Yeah. They're all just like, you're going to get yours, dude. Who has he not talked shit about at yeah. this point? Like, who has he consistently supported? He's gonna he's gonna go down. He talked shit about the Pope, I think, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. He talked shit about handicapped he's people. He's got no one left. He's bringing in like his building janitors. Like, man, here's my new secretary of state. <laughs> <laughs> right? He is, dude. He's, uh, one of the five people I know left. <laughs> dude. Even his kids are out of the like. They're out of the White House now. Dude, too. like his wife is like not even want to be That's with what him. They don't even, She doesn't even. I feel bad for. 
What's his name? Bannon or something? His, uh, his oh, kid's name? Nah, he's oh, fine. No. Don't worry. No, no, no his, little, his little kid. Oh, yeah, Barron. Oh, Barron. Barron? Yeah, man, I feel bad for him. He, well, you know what Trump would say? He'd be like, he knew what he was signing up for. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> when he, <laughs> he kind of said that, you know. My biggest, like, on the real, though, my biggest fear is... I just hope I hope he's not like go, he, maybe he's going crazy. He's totally going crazy, dude. He's seventy two years old. Like, and that that's I the scariest. Listen, thing. man, I would not hire him at Walmart. I don't know how <laughs> he's like running a country. Like, if he came in and literally applied, I'd be like, I think it's a little weird. You gotta you gotta get out of here. <laughs> well, yeah, Donald Trump showed up at Walmart. That would be a little weird. Well, that too. But just even on its surface, I was like, I, I think I'll hire somebody else to do the job, sir. Yeah, dude. You know, but he's running the United States of America.
we talking about earlier how now it's kind of weird, like you're kind of rooting for the FBI? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bef- uh, we, yeah Mike, we were saying... Jamie's earlier. wearing an FBI t-shirt, <laughs> just, just so you, everybody knows. Yeah, the good guys. Pop. I'd like to see the FBI bounce, bounce back and like... Pile that shit up on him, man. They're going to ha- be on the newspaper headlines tomorrow, you know. We caught somebody in the bushes or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> you don't think he owes something significant to the Russian somebody a business if not like businesses people yeah. in the mob you don't think he owes them something Dude, they've been working trump for years oh for dude. sure they're like what if the- it's what it's e- what if it's even worse that, not that they just have shit on him but that he actually promised them something yeah like yeah. in return in return for yeah. winning the election he's like okay yeah if you let me win i will make sure that you guys yeah that that we don't do such and such. Yeah, with you, sanctions. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make sure the sanctions are lifted or whatever. Well, yeah. that, that was one of the things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's uh, it's scary it's good, times. It's a good man. theory. Let's that's, that. let's file that under number one. I think of my, many my, theories. My main concern with what's going on right now is I really hope this motherfucker doesn't start another war just to get his fucking attention. Take like the. All the attention taken off what's really going he on. He could. Yeah. And the scary I, thing I, I, was I hope I hope the generals and the people like at the Pentagon, they'll be like, dude, we're not fucking doing that shit. Fuck you. Like I hope they stand up to him. Like sorry, bro. Like it could be like Thailand, you know, like the military's taking over the government. Right. Well you don't want that though. You don't want a coup. Uh, right now? Hell yeah. I don't want him in fucking uh, power. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it, I'll I, take the military over him in power. I know what you're saying, but think about what you're saying. That's scary too. Like we'd be like, yay, military, come in and take <laughs> over the government. Like that's that's a recipe for disaster right there. Yeah. Like well, long term, that's not good. Well, we gotta get this guy out. Like Thailand <laughs> actually suffers with that. It's like you know, every time there's like a unpopular leader, like the military could just be like, Okay, fuck it. We're shutting you down. We're yeah. taking over for a little bit. It's gotta be a take a take America back campaign. That's what's got to happen. It's like, listen, man, we got to take America back a step. Yeah. Even if you're not with this idea, like, everyone's got to agree. This is unreasonable behavior. Let's, like, step back. Yeah. But see, that's, that's where I actually do kind of have – what this has kind of shown me is, like, I do have faith in the system, actually. Right. M- maybe rightly or wrongly. Like, I have faith in young people. Like, so the fact that, like, s- certain senators, like, even Republican senators speak out against – you know, they're, yeah. they're still kind of cow- kowtowing the line. Well, uh, right now, know. right now, the judicial people is what's really, shit. like – they're holding down the line, and then, dude. Oh, and, then, and then people are starting to vote, like, the, these elections that have been happening where, yeah. you know, sort of like – Yeah, it's The slow. one in Pennsylvania where the Democrat won. Squeaking shit out. And that one in Pennsylvania <laughs> is a special election. It doesn't even last for a year, and they've got to have a whole new election. <laughs> But it just shows you that the energy is on the side yeah, of Yeah, it's not bad, but like and it's one district in Pennsylvania. Yeah. What's, you know. Yeah, but that's ultimately how you get them out of power is to vote them out of office. Sure, yeah. not that it's a bad thing, but come on. Let's oh, what a district in Pennsylvania. <laughs> that's like okay. All right. Let's not you got to have hope, Mike. <laughs> that is hope. I, I agree, but come I on. I mean, it's kind of like when he tried the Muslim ban thing the first time like people just fucking went shit, you know, like stood up and did like yeah. and so it shut that shit down pretty quickly. That's, yeah, but the thing is, that's you, pretty cool. You know what? People get overjoyed about something like this. The next thing that happen, Trump gets reelected, and people are like, "Well, wait, we, we won that district in Pennsylvania. How did we lose?" <laughs> well, yeah, way to paint the worst case scenario there, Mike. Thanks, you got you, man. You're such a downer, dude. I'm trying to remain optimistic here. <laughs> Nobody painted it at the election last time, and everyone woke up. The fucker won. Yeah, that was horrible. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you, you got a point there. <laughs> I feel very optimistic because of the fucking young people in this country, man. Yeah, I feel like right. they're going to take it back. In two or three years, they're all voting. Yeah. And come on, you can't tell me the majority of young people. You see it. There's no way they're not like, screw this. We got we to yeah. do something better. The, they're the, smarter than the, us the, anyway. Yeah. 
That should be episode 17. Next time. All right. You can find us on Instagram or iTunes, Spotify. Please leave a review. You know, that'd be nice. We just want to know that people are listening, you know? So you can reach me at nat at the new signal.com. Follow us on Instagram and uh, stuff like that at New Signal Pod. 